As you can see, it's kind of a crummy overcast day here in West Central Florida. And uh, I'm working on this uh, five weight today, getting it all going. Been working on it for the last two weeks here now. And uh, mostly because it's just taken a long time to get it to uh, drill out all the holes for the uh, sunshades and the uh, inserts in the back. They, uh, they were completely seized in the thing, so I had to drill every one of them out. So I, that took quite a little time. You know, I'll do a little after work and finally got it all drilled out. And a couple of them still have the paint down there on the bottom, but the, I'm working on it. This is a. Uh, this one is made by Indicator Indicator Control Company, and you can see that their uh, their name right there on the back. And what's different about these is that they're they're narrow. They're not very wide, so you can't put a full size light in there. So I had to use one of these ones that had the the flat back, the turn signal. The the arrows are all flat normally, but uh, this one here is, is uh, definitely up here get it open see it, they're, they're flat on the back and that's a uh, one of the GE ones there let's look at what is it the uh, that's our uh, our GE light there but it's flat as opposed to the usual round ones that are in in these guys here well actually this one would be a round or more humpback type of a thing and uh, we drilling them out and you can see I had to drill them out and I used a nut completely through just put a nut on the inside of it because it's just one of the other things weird is you have to use these big gaskets because this this uh this signal head is so so different than most of them that it takes us almost a, a special gasket which i had them just all the inserts and everything on this were busted and it was in real bad shape when i got it, it was heavily cor it was heavily corroded um i'll show some more as i go I'm in the process now of painting the, the remainder of the three uh, three sunshades. I've got them all straight again because the bottom two were just beat up because this thing had been toppled over forward and uh, bent bent all the sunshades up. And uh, this is the, the inserts that we're going to be putting in here. This is a green insert. See, and then of course the uh, the arrow goes in too as well. There's our amber. We just got done cleaning those up and they're ready to go. Um, everything looks pretty good. I should have it going. I'm going to replace these two signals here with this five-way because it's just a, I don't want to use those for uh, for this. And I kind of wanted it all to be. I'll be building another one to replace these two. Uh, also, I have it back over there. I just have to go through the same same hassle drilling out all the all the screws and stuff. But it's coming along. I got it. You know, two two. Uh, inserts in there and it's ready to go i got the other three i'll have these done today and i'll, I'll do a video of it all running and uh show it going and uh but let's take a look at the back here so like i said if you look the back is pretty flat and uh i'm just you know, it's being held on here by just these straps to keep it straight up but if you look back here on this one you can see that it's, it's much thicker than that so it takes a different uh Different light, definitely. Good thing I have a, a good set of lights that I can put in these things because uh, I didn't realize that when I bought them that they were kind of oddballs. And uh, they also happen to be the same company that makes these pad pad housings that I have. Same same company, Indicator Control. I don't know where they're where they're located or anything. <clears throat> but that's it. Uh, I'll do a video when it's all finished.